Yes, sir. Uh, hey, man. My nigga Trigger. Yes, sir. <laughs> what it do, bro? Man, bro, a lot of topics, man. A lot of shit been going on, man. A lot of topics, man. Hey, man, it's your boy, Rexel Guapo, man. Street Certified Podcast. This episode 24, bro. We on episode 24, man. Got my I nigga thought it was 20, I, count, I, thought, I thought it was 23 for you. So this 24? This 24, bro. This number 24, man. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Trigger. You know what I'm saying? Back in the seat. Oh, you man. Look, I told my, hey, I told y'all before, man, it ain't gonna stop, man. Me and Guapo, man, we've been brothers linked like this, man. And we finna Thanks. make it happen together, man. So, look, appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody sharing. Appreciate everybody viewing, man. Much love. You hear me? Facts, man. Facts, man. But now it's, it's, it's a lot of topics that, that popped off, G, since the last time we spoke, man. Man. Woo-hoo. Man, well, hey, well, hey, let's just go straight into it, man. Which one we gonna get into first, man? Because, um... I would say probably the biggest story of this past week is you got New York rapper Casanova caught a federal racketeering charge, as well as Chicago rapper G Herbo caught a federal fraud case. As they say he was using fraudulent credit cards and other people's identities to rack up millions of dollars worth of luxury items. And hey, I heard. Hey, look, I heard he got some uh, what some some dogs. A couple yeah, of, yeah, they, uh, they say he bought dogs. a dog. He bought a, do- a luxury dog from uh Michigan. They was somebody. taking trips. They was taking trips, too. <laughs> man, they, man, they, flying, they was flying people. private boats, all of that, man. I'm about to Guapo, if you, if you going to scam and fraud, I mean, you better do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, niggas, buy, niggas buy Jordans and renting cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? You I mean, do you it. know. With the you right know, way, this dude. is all alleged, man. So right now, all no alleged, knows, yes, right? Sir. Yeah, nobody knows what's going on with either one of the cases. But let's jump straight into it. So let's just jump. Let's jump into Herbo first. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, yeah, he our city. That's that's my brother, right? Yeah, there, yeah, that's know. our city, man. <laughs> exactly. So the big the big story of this week is, of course, you know what I'm saying. Uh, his baby mama, uh, former girlfriend Ari Fletcher, was named as a witness in the case. Now, a lot of people was like, ah, oh, she's snitching this and that, this and that. I, I just want to put it out there, you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, you know, prosecutor can name anybody they want as a witness. If they feel like you got information and this may go to trial, they can put you on the witness list. They can this put his mother, they can put his mother on the witness list. Right, right, right. They gonna put that a lot don't of people mean, on that the don't mean she's so, snitching. Right, right, right. So, so if they feel like you may have been around or seen some shit that was going on around the time that they said that the crime mm-hmm. took place, then Technically, they could put you on the witness list. They could ask you to make a statement. It's a lot of stuff they could do. So, you know, she came out. She made a statement. You know what I'm saying? She ain't fucking with them people. So that's good. That's good for her. That's good for her, bro. That's good for everybody involved. Um, but, but I got a question for you, bro. So you, you, your homie is making, you know, a lot of money. I ain't going to say millions. But, you know, your homie is making money. He traveling the world. He a big time artist. Would you feel the need to have to stunt with him to kind of live that same lifestyle? You think maybe it was something like that that occurred? Or, like, do you feel like motherfuckers were just out here clowning, getting to it? Man, to be honest with you, bro, that's a good question, man. And it's kind of strange, right? The fact that, you know what I'm saying, he rich and he got put into a position like this. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. It is weird. It's kind of to the point where, like you just said, is he actually involved or is his people in them involved but he was just with him doing what he you know what i'm saying eating with him having a good time with him but he around and playing right. all that so right. you know what i'm saying me personally i don't feel like he got the need to exactly. actually have to do that so what you basically getting at is if i'm your man's and you got it why why i gotta do this in a way too you get what i'm saying i mean i I mean, I can see it both ways. So I guess what I'm getting to is this, man. Everybody know G Herbo don't need to swipe no cars, don't do no fraudulent stuff to live his lifestyle. We know he don't need that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But his homies who's riding with him, who feel like, hey, I'm a big man in my own right. When I go to my city, motherfuckers rock with me like I'm an OG. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm big homie. I shouldn't have to depend on G Herbo for shit. So That's maybe true. G Herbo bad dinner. One night. Well, shit, next night, I'm a bad dinner. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. But it's like, you get to the point where it's like, why put yourself in that position where you could be with him already eating 
he can make sure if you if I if you my homie and I come to you and say, bro, I'm trying to get it, bro. Like I'm doing woo 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 woo. I don't want to keep doing woo 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 woo. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying, eat like you eat eat with you instead of doing this and putting you in a position now. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So basically, basically what I'm getting at is. I understand where you're coming from for the simple fact that we all street niggas, we all came from the streets, we all got to do what we got to do to eat, right. you know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't be something that's continued when a nigga make it to that level, so, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I agree. I agree. Understand, I agree. We understand. We understand. We feel it. We know. We respect all that. But now you put the, the, the head honcho in a predicament where it might drop him some tears. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, to be honest, bro, the G Herbo case, out of everything that happened this week, is probably the easiest, most cut and dry, simple shit out of everything. He, he's straight. He's, he's straight. straight. Yeah. We know he's straight. Yeah, he's straight. All he's going to do is he's going to hire a lawyer. His homie's going to be like, look, man, it was us. Nigga's going to do some time, probation, most, whatever. Everybody going to be good. Most G Herbo get his house arrest somewhere. That's exactly. And that's if they even can if they put even something in his hand, stuff. bro. I mean, yeah. well, you know what I'm saying? They, they would have to have this nigga signing for some bullshit or having some shit in his hand. If, if, if they just said he was there when it happened, like, man, you know, that's some bullshit. And you're right, because Dirk and, and Vaughn, they were still, were they still fighting that case out in Atlanta? Yeah. Hell yeah. And they I saying mean, the same thing about Dirk. We ain't saying he shot the nigga. We ain't saying he did, but he was around. Like, come on, man. Like that's bullshit. And you see, you that, see, man's bullshit. That's why he out. That's why nothing happened to him. Exactly. You hit it right on head. It's bullshit, man. So, hey, man, shout out, shout out, Herbo, man. Shout out, everybody. Uh, hey, G Herbo, we love you, man. boy. Get through that shit, man. I want niggas to get through that shit, man, because I like how bro. Town representative, we love you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I like I like how up, bro baby. be moving, man. I like how bro be moving. Yeah. Shout out Ari too, man, for making it clear. She ain't fucking with them people. Cause I heard I ain't see it, I ain't read it, but you know, when the news came out that she was named the witness, man, I heard that she came out and made it pretty clear. She ain't fucking with them people. And that could be that's real. They could put you on the witness list and you don't got nothing to do with that shit. So you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in that situation. So I know now, everybody on here watch look, I know everybody on here watch power. I mean, just keep it simple and short. Y'all yep. see what they doing throwing everybody on the stand on power. Man, they just man. grabbing motherfuckers. Put the, they, ain't, they ain't really have shit to do with shit, but they putting them on the stand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Same hey, thing speaking with her. of power, bro, now we got to talk about that, man. What's Buddy? Hey, Buddy the realest nigga in the whole show, man. Who you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Tommy Mans, bro, who had, who had uh, got locked oh, up I and shit. Oh, I forgot his name, bro. He the realest nigga. Who got the watch? He got, he got Ghost Watch. Bro, that's the realest nigga in the show, man. I fuck with Buddy ass, man. Hey, hey, what he say when he was on the stand? He was like, "You talking about that dead, that that uh, that that dead uh, governor dude or something?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I love that nigga, boy. That nigga was on that, that bitch playing his role. Hey, that nigga was bro. on the stand playing his role. I yeah, hope let me show you though. Let me let me let me ask you a question real quick. So, it, like, you see how in life. The cars are dealt a certain type of way if you keep it real with yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I ain't gonna lie. Do you feel like in the position that he was in, you know what I'm saying, for what he got caught with, what his mans had did to get out, or what he did was the right thing to do? Cause now he blessed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we already know, man. You know what I'm saying? This Street Certified Podcast, man. Hey, man, follow us, man. At Street Certified News, man. Street Certified on all platforms. Look, man, when you keep it a hundred, bro, the, the 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 wave gonna come clean right back around to you. When you out here doing fuck nigga shit, trying to catch the wave, trying to stay ahead, trying to man, I you don't, don't want to take the loss, so I'm gonna do some rat shit, bro. That shit is stopped right there. All your good blessings, all your good luck, nigga, gonna stop right there. Look what's going on with Takashi Six Nine. No, no, a nigga, a nigga who I never thought I even have to talk about again. To be honest, man, when he first came out, he was going crazy, and I didn't quite believe it. You see what I'm saying? I was telling motherfuckers, man. Anybody who followed the page know I was putting it out there. Hey. I don't know about this nigga, man. This, then the nigga get kidnapped, man. But I'm telling you, man, there's something funny going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when everything came out and bro ended up being a rat, we all knew he was going to be. We go, we all kind of knew that was probably going to happen. I just wanted to see what happened, man. And you see what happened, bro. Since that nigga got out of jail, he had his little push, bro. It's just like you said, bro, that shit going down. It's there's nothing the you can do to stop it, bro. They tried to they tried to give him a little show on Hulu, a little shout out to Daddy or that dad story. <laughs> Ain't nobody watching that shit, man. I'm just keeping it a bug like 
ain't nothing you could do to bring him back to his stature where he was previously. It's a wrap for him, man. Like, you know, oh, they they not showing my stuff on Apple Music and on Spotify. They not putting me at the top of the list. Look, like my album just came out. And, bro, these people in these A&Rs, these, these managers, these presidents, they don't want nothing to do with you either. It is what it is. Man, you know it is. Hey, man, we happy street. you made it home, bro. That's it. That's all we can That's say. It. That's and I hope you stay say, safe out there, six nine man. You hear me? Hey, it, so hey. now you see he trying to he trying to do the celebrity boxing thing now, bro. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that, man. Yeah, now he's trying to do the celebrity boxing thing. You know, the whole Jake Paul. And that, and now you got Floyd finna fight his brother, Logan Paul. And now Takashi, like, look, he trying to fight. He said he trying to fight Javante Davis. Come um, on, man. For the exhibition. <laughs> for the bread. So he he, he want to fight that nigga pay-per-view for the bread. And first off, street, uh, shout out to Street Certified Podcast, man. Because this one here does not make any sense to me whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this does not. He, there's no, okay, I can see him, and we're going to get to it right now because I ain't going to even wait. I can see him and Lil Reese doing something like that. Right. Yeah, Lil Reese said he'll fight him too. They give him one minute, six round, one minute. They're going to be flat out tired. But you're trying to get in there with a champion. No, he ain't got no losses, right? Come on, man. Nigga, we talking about at the top of his game. We talking about we talking about a champion nigga that's literally you could say probably top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world right now, bro. Come on, man. But you know, that's all so 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 let's let's round it back. Let's finish off the whole story. We know that right now this nigga's at an all-time low when it come to whatever he wanna, whatever currency that he value, whether it's clout, whether it's money, whether it's numbers, whether it's records, whatever it is, bro, he had an all-time low all around the board. So it True, makes sense bro. that he jump out there and challenge a person like Javante who's at a high right now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They yeah. done had history. You know what I'm saying? We talked about the shit about them in the club and it's been a lot of love. Them niggas bumping to each other a lot, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. been a lot of history. So it makes sense that he would do that. Now, to me, it just show, I mean, bro, bro out here desperate, man. And that's why I, I salute Lil Reese. Because I salute Chicago niggas, bro. Chicago niggas, you know what? We love stepping in when it's time for a nigga to back up what the fuck he got to say. True. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, bro, you you claim you was the hottest nigga and this and that, and you showing up the old block, and now you uh challenging boxing champions to matches, nigga. You could box me right now. What's up for the bread? I, hey, cause look, you just they just low key, literally just seeing how much what uh uh Mike Tyson have made and Roy Robinson just it. made a little grip. Jake Paul just made a little grip. Mayweather about to make a little grip. Maybe hey Mayweather said, hey, make it make it sense for me to come outside. He said, I'm probably going to go in there and make 30, 40, 50 million real quick. Man. You know what I'm saying? Off an exhibition. That You're right, though, bro. That's a big money move. But exactly what you just stated, though. You you need something to get you back on that plateau. You got to do something right now to push you back up there. Hey, There's so no question. Way. I got a question for you. Let's say, let's say 6 9 take the fight. 6 9 let's say 6 9 get in there and knock Lil Reese out. He only 100 pounds. <laughs> But I'm just saying, let's say six nine okay. get in there and knock this nigga out. G. Now what? Now what? Would, so is that is he back now? We is can't we can't we can't have Chicago take another hit, man. <laughs> hey niggas you know go up in the ring and shit. <laughs> oh hey, what was gonna lie to try to do us in and New York get us? No, we can't, we can't, we can't. Niggas take gonna no jump hit. in the ring on that one, bro. Hey, I hey. <laughs> but no, nah, but on some real shit. Let's say niggas put their money where their mouth is, all that. And that nigga come out there red, rainbow hair, and just knock the nigga out. Now, can't, now, now what we got to say, man. So that's the scary part. That's the scary. That's the part I was thinking. Like, that's man, scary. I want Lil Reese to get in there and knock this nigga out. But also, G, Lil Reese, bro, you know if you get in there, you cannot take the L, nigga. This nigga fighting for, like, all real niggas, man. Yeah. And then you got shots out on your back, baby. Yeah, you bro, you know. fighting for Chicago. You fighting for real niggas. You fighting for niggas who will not rap. Like, you fighting for a lot of people, and bro. And you know, if he, bro, if he literally win this, bro, he is going to go social media troll crazy. There's going to be memes every single where you could possibly be. Gee, this nigga going to act like he won the damn presidential election. <laughs> this nigga going to act hey. like he won the election. Hey, so, he man, gonna, hey. 
whoever get in there with this nigga, bro, knock this nigga out, man, so that he could be really done. Cause see, that's the other side. The other side Lil is Durk, I wish Lil Dirk get in there with him. I ain't gonna count. Man, Lil Dirk, man, Lil Dirk don't got no time for that shit, man. I know. I just wish I know Dirk got a little little, little something built up. He need to get out of it. <laughs> He so casting over, bro. Did you see he he actually did like a video, a little speech, like right before he went in, he had to turn himself in. Like I don't know if you noticed in the video when he telling his girl like ban shit, you could tell the people was like right there because they like stopped them in the middle of that shit. Like come on, my nigga, like we we done yeah, talking about they, this. They, shit. they 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 sitting at the. So so tell me, um, what was the like the details about everything that all nineteen of them was accused for? So I don't know no details, bro. All but I know no, I'm is saying like racketeering. It was racketeering, racketeering. What they saying is that I forgot it's like the G Stone. I think they stones. I think they like gorilla, blood. gorilla stone, gorilla stone. So it's like they, they bloods and black stone. Yes, stone but that's nation. like that's like they bloods, but they black stones. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, don't, I, just, I don't know if that's just a name. Gorilla Stone Nation. I mean, you you say you a stone and you rep the fast sound like a black stone to me, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All I'm just saying is you sound like a stone. Like these niggas say he's a stone. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. but um I guess what they saying is you know, similar to what they did, like with the whole Bobby Schmurda shit. Um, they a criminal organization. Them niggas is robbing, killing, selling drugs, racketeering all that. Racketeering, bro. Like every Rico day they wake up and they break laws. That's how they get money. That's how they make a name for Gamming, everything, fraud, all that. And they saying bro is the head. They saying Casanova's the head. They got wire tags. You know, you, you know, and you know why a lot of times the head honchos be the rappers because they the ones that trickling down some of the money. Even though, and that's the thing, if you my guy. You give me a thousand dollars every month. Say, 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 you just say, you don't know what I'm doing with it. You may know a little bit. You may know a little bit, but you know everything I'm doing. You really don't even You're care. You're not calling no shots. You know what I'm saying? You're not like telling a nigga what to do. Dude, yeah, I'm, you, I'm just giving a nigga, these, these, my, these my guys. I'm just giving them bread. Right. I, shit, these my niggas. I can't get them no bread. I don't know what they doing with it. I still can't get a hang with them. I'm rapping. I'm in the studio. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm kicking it. You know what I'm saying? I'm Bro, say he need a thousand. He need 15,000. Huh? He just, I'm thinking he need it for the shorties. I don't know what's going on. Right, you so you think saying? that's what happened? You think that's, that's what happened? That's what be happening with, with all these rappers, bro. That's what be happening with all these brackets. They start trickle. They just trickle the money down, and it goes like a little tree. They just trickle right. down to other little parts of the organization, and that's why they look at them like, hey, you the millionaire. You the head. All right, so check this out. So it's a little bit deeper than that. So, you know, um, I guess they got wiretaps. They got some, you know, little records. Um, they, they said that they used a lot of what Casanova said and interviews, we ain't gonna speak on, you know, who he did the interviews with, but you know, niggas go on these interview shows and basically run down their criminal record. You know what I'm saying? True. That's true, that's hey, true. Hey, shout out, hey man, shout out my big bro, Dex Diamond, man. You know what I'm saying? Murder Inc, Adventures Music, man. Shout bro out, cause he actually said some real shit. So like, they not necessarily using these interviews to convict you of crimes because technically, most of the shit that these niggas talk about in the interviews, they already went to jail for it. Yeah, but what they doing is they character building. Mm -hmm. So what they they showing the jury, hey, we think this nigga did this. Now just listen to this nigga talk about shit he do. You see what I'm saying? Like this is the type of nigga he is. Don't don't get it twisted. This not no just a regular rapper. This is who he is. You see what I'm saying? This is his character. So they using these interviews to really show the jury, like, look. This nigga's a criminal. He admits to being a criminal. Nigga been doing criminal shit his own life. So this, so the shit I'm talking about is just some new criminal shit he did. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it helped. It helped sway motherfuckers. So let me let me ask you a question. So, so I feel like the people who are doing these videos for them and with them, I, I don't like when people try to say they're intentionally trying to. You know what I'm saying? Get information and and you know doing a. So you don't think so? Like, let's hey, let's keep it a hundred. You don't think Vlad Ratten, bro? No, I think what I'm thinking is if you if you if you that nigga, you did this and you did that. What else are we gonna talk about on the, on the podcast? <laughs> say, nigga, that's what you do. I'm gonna like, talk about your kids. Yo, yo, nigga, that's uh, what the, you the do, piece. man. The reason nigga, you here. I'm I'm talking about your life. What you get into? What you into? What you been into? This is this is this platform. This is what you came to this platform for. You right. didn't come to this platform not knowing we were gonna ask questions about this. This is what your life is. This is what you do. So when you came on here. We had a conversation. We just talking about anything in general. If you don't want to talk about something, just be like, no, scratch that. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, let's move on to the next question. You get what I'm saying? 
Right. This ain't something people make it. That's the only thing I truly don't like. The fact that people think that somebody has to create some type of stuff about snitching because it's like, how am I doing anything? I'm just having a conversation with this gentleman. I don't know if he pay him to come on. I don't know how I go, but right. they, they, they come, they want to like, if somebody want to jump on here, come on, fool. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie. Okay. So let's, let's say that somebody jump on the street certified podcast. Hey man, follow us at street certified news, man. It's your boy, Mercy El Guapo, man. With my nigga Trigger, episode hey. 24, man. Hey, if Trigger somebody come 100, on man. Trigger right number man. Trigger number 100, IG. You know what time it is. Go ahead. <laughs> if somebody hop on this bitch right now, I'm not going to ask them specifically about... Like, this nigga asked Casanova, like, how many niggas have you stabbed before and shit? Like, he was, like, asking very specific question now i might ask a nigga like hey man shit so you know you your name big in the streets like can you tell us any stories or just like some shit of you getting down like is there anything you could tell us on some shit to to show us that sad but i'm not gonna be like man so i heard you shot 10 niggas then man tell me about the first nigga you shot you know i ain't gonna do that but but you seen vlad hundreds of times you know how you know how you get you know how you talk right, right or wrong right so when you come on the show you already you i mean it's I get where you coming from, but it's up to you to get these answers. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get these answers. What I'm saying is, like, if you watch my show all the time, you know how I get down. I ask you to come on. This is what you this is what you want. Like, just be real with yourself. If you don't want to answer these questions, bro, you don't have to. I'm asking wild questions because this is why this is how I came up. This is this, this how my, this my platform. This is what this motherfuckers want to hear about. Is, you know what I'm saying? This is why people watch my show. You know what I'm saying? So it's no, it, it's not right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm. I, I look at for things from both perspectives. It's not right. I don't feel like it's cool, and I don't feel like you know he should go that far by asking that type of stuff. But I got to look at it from both perspectives because you still got to be a man in your own right to be able to. Uh, you know what? That one right there, bro. We gonna keep that one. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead to the next. Thanks. I like. I like that. I like that. Um. You know, Cass got a girlfriend, you know, of course, girlfriends got girlfriends and female friends and motherfuckers that be around in your business because they know your girl and shit. So mm -hmm. I guess her best friend got arrested. I don't know. I, I We posted the footage about a week ago. I don't know if that footage, I know that footage is old. That footage is not in the last month or last week or nothing like that. It's either a couple months old or a couple years old. But basically what they saying is um, she's obviously snitching in the video <laughs> she's telling the police names in the video she giving them information and she even goes as far as to say i'm giving y'all all this information and y'all still gonna take me to jail and the police like i, I, I heard that the police like yeah bitch you going to jail you going to jail but she was telling so what motherfuckers basically the nigga who sent me the video was like look this is what started the investigation into the whole crew i guess shorty got caught up on some shit the police yeah, she felt, said she was. Yeah, she said she was scamming and stuff. Right. Too. Yes, the police yes. felt like you not the top scammer. You not the chief scammer. You not the one that we looking for. We gonna lock your ass up, but we need some information on like who is really doing this shit. And she gave out names, and them names just rolled all the way up to Casanova, bro. And that's kind of how the whole thing started. So, um, something I just saw this morning is crazy. But um, Cass girl had posted some shit on her story, like man fake friends. She was talking about fake friends and motherfuckers that switched up on her and a lot of shit. So it's, it's, it's a lot me, of shit no, going on, man. man I'm, I'm trying to cut you off. Cut you off. Is the girl who's in that video, is she out or she's still locked up? You know? Um, I don't know. I don't mm. know. I don't know at all. I'm, I'm pretty sure if she, I'm pretty sure she out, bro. Cause like I said, that video was old, but also because of what's going on, shorty probably low key than a bitch. She probably done deactivated all our social media, everything. She probably got to be super low key right now, either because Shorty a witness or because it's out that she the one that started all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So even though she might not be snitching right now for the people, motherfucker, see what she did. So now she got to get low key. You know what I'm saying? And this is for everybody, anybody who get locked up, man. Just keep it a buck, man. Look, if you get locked up or something happened, man, get a lawyer straight off back, man. Don't talk, man. If they can't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? They trying to scare you in these rooms. They try to blackmail you in these rooms. They try to get you to say, am I right, bro? They try to get you to say whatever. Just Thanks, get bro. your lawyer, man. Thanks. Just don't say nothing. They, 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 Whatever you believe they can do, they may or they may not can, but let your lawyer talk to them. You get what I'm saying? 
That's right. all that be happening, bro. You think people be letting people scare their pants off, not knowing that you can man, plead the fifth. Let me get my lawyer in here, bro. Man. You know what hey, I'm saying? It's crazy, like you don't have to say nothing. You could just look, and, and they gonna try to talk to you. All you gotta say is lawyer. Once you say lawyer, <laughs> they gotta <laughs> stop talking. They can't even ask you no more questions, man. Lawyer, yeah. this is lawyer. Everybody be put themselves in these positions, just talking, man. Stop talking. Man, I don't they, know they, they not here to help you. I don't know nothing that's going on. Give me a lawyer, man. I don't know none of that. <laughs> the best way to be, if you gonna be in the streets, the best way is just off the grid, bro. Like, then they don't even carry a phone in your pocket because they could track where you been if the phone was on in your pocket. They could, you know, every time it went go to another tower, it ping. So even if yep. you own that motherfucker, every time you, if you in a car with your phone, every time you hit a new tower, it ping and let the phone know, okay. You you, you was in this area 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we use that. It so pinged off that tower. Say, look, he pinged that tower. He pinged that At tower. 611. At 611 on, on, on uh, uh, November 29th, it pinged off the tower of 63rd and ooh, you know what I'm saying? How they know you was there. So you like, was, up, you was that way. Your phone pinged over that way. What you doing over there? Holler at us about that. Now right, you gotta so, be, yeah. so the, the best the best way on surreal shit is to just be completely off the grid. You know, it's hard for motherfuckers now. So, I mean, we can always say, hey, the best way is don't do no bad shit. They, no, <laughs> this, is what they, this is what they live for, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't do no I bad shit. It. I respect it. But if it. you go do some bad shit, get the fuck off the grid. Turn your phone off. Don't take nothing with you. You don't need nothing. Back in the day, motherfuckers just pulled up. I knew where my niggas was at. I ain't got to call them, text them. I ain't got to drop my location. None of that shit. So, I mean, until niggas get back to that, Motherfuckers gonna get caught up off that social jammed media up. shit every day. All every day the time, gonna get bro. jammed up. Man, RIP this nigga uh tiny list, man. Debo just passed uh this week, bro. Man, let me let me get that chain off your neck, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my grandma gave me this chain. <laughs> hey, RIP. Hey, hey, I literally just watched that movie the day I heard he passed away, bro. That that was my homie, man. Hey, my boy, uh, my boy Cash Davis, man. Shout out Miss Green Clothing Line, man. I don't know if you've seen his uh his IG. You know, he 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 saw him in the um in the uh, airport. You know what I'm saying? He ran across a, a tiny list in the airport, man, and had him say the little line and all that shit, man. It was hilarious. Oh, that's man. what's so, up, man. Shout out hey, to I tiny list, with man. The, hey, Debo, Debo was like a real like hood legend, bro. Uh, he we don't even know if he was really hood, but he was a hood legend. Bro. G Debo was a hood. Hey, this nigga played the same character in every single movie. Once Debo came out, this nigga was Debo in every movie after Debo. G like, bro, I miss. Hey, that's crazy, bro. R.I.P. Man, yeah, man. R.I.P. Wow. Tiny Lister, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, podcast, know, bro man. was a pro wrestler before he did Debo. Like he was nigga wrestling the WWF and everything. Like before Friday, straight up. So, bro, wow, like, I did not know that. Zeus, go, go on Google that shit. His name was Zeus. Debo bro. was a WWF pro wrestler, bro. I heard of that name before. Bro, did he play a nigga named Zeus in another movie before or something? I think he played a nigga named Zeus, but he, his name in the, he was a WWF wrestler, bro. Nigga named was Zeus, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. then wow, Friday man. popped off. Then he became an actor after Friday, but before Friday, he was just like a Big ass pro wrestling nigga from from Cali and shit. You know what I'm saying? Start getting that bag out of that boy. What's yeah, up, with my boy Lil Boosie, man? He good? Lil Boosie? Yeah, what's going on with my nigga, man? You ain't see that nigga, man? I see him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was lean back. That nigga in a wheelchair, bro. Hey, he still with the hey Lil Boosie. Hey, that's <laughs> one of the realest niggas, man. I had to give it to that nigga, man. Hey, yeah. hey, he, he gonna keep getting his bread. Niggas, man. Yeah, bro, he 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 ain't playing no games, bro. He's showing niggas like that's how you know when niggas really be with the shit with some they younger than they older, but they want to show niggas like I'm really still there. Like I'm Hell gonna yeah. get I'm still gonna pop out. Okay, hey, we said it niggas. though. We said it though, man. Man, RIP Mo3, man. When Mo3 had got uh had passed, man. Boosie pulled up. Boosie pulled up to Dallas, man, for the funeral, took a bullet. Went back home, got his shit right. Now you see this nigga. And he said he doing shows in wheelchairs. Nigga, he pulling up in a wheelchair, bro, with the fur coat on, man. You saw Bill, you saw what Bill Cosby said, right? What Bill say? You know, um, you know, uh Boosie, you know, uh, I think it was back earlier this year, he was shouting out um uh, Bill Cosby. 
like free Bill Cosby, woo woo man, them chicks lying, them hoes was lying about him, woo woo. Bill Cosby shouting them out like, man, appreciate you, little Boosie, for shouting me out, trying to get me woo at the gym. But he also shouted him out. He was like, man, hope you, uh, hope you get well, man. Hope you, hope you be, be, you know, walking soon, all that shit, man. So shout out to Bill, man. Get out man, of here. Shout man. out Bill. Hey, man. Shout out Bill. Bill Cosby, hey, man. Shout man. out Bill Cosby, man. Hey, Bill Cosby, man. Line, man. Shout hey out Bill real Cosby. talk though, but sometimes it takes some shit like this, man. For a nigga to have to revert back to his real self, man. Cause I heard Bill was hating on the gas. Like he thought he was like, but like back in the day, man, Bill was hating on the gas, man. He he ain't used to like the black comedians and the black rappers. And, and cause he was like, we be saying nigga and we be like degrading the women. He was really acting like he was better than us. And to be honest, bro, you know, man, that shit come back, bro. We talk about karma, my nigga. Like you can't be out here doing dirt. I don't think he, but look, I don't think he did all that though. Nah, hey, he look. ain't do all that. Man, look, man, think- Bill ain't raping no bitch. Bill was just out here fucking bitches. Bro, but I'm um, saying, you can't get mad at niggas for fucking bitches and talking about <laughs> it. You fucking bitches too, Bill. You was fucking the bitches too, Bill. He was doing a lot, man. The told on you made you look like the bad guy. Now you want to be cool with us again. When you was hey, mad, look, nigga, he wasn't well, fucking with us. About, I, I was busting up, though, man. I said, okay. okay. Nah, shout hey. out Bill, though, man. Hey, not to switch topics, man, but I know this is one of the most important topics for the day, though, man. Uh, that uh, NBA young boy in little dirt, man. What's going on with that, man? Man, like, hey, I, we was right, bro. We was, hey, you was right, bro. You, I told you. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's me personally. I see it, it steps, it's levels to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you brought it up, them, bro. Boom, them two, then these two. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, little dirt, he, see. He is a very articulate person, man. Dirk is not no reckless, wild, hood, thug nigga no more. He still got it in him. But he's he he thinks. He said and steps up in advance. Okay, let me just do this. Let me just do that. Matter of fact, I'm going to go down here and turn up with bro. Bro just popped out. Bro ain't really rocking with bro. Ooh, we on stage now. Hey, man. That's fact, what, hey, and that was, the the big, that was the big move that let you know what it really was, bro. I told so you. Dirk popped out. So for people who don't know, Dirk popped out on stage with Fredo Bang. Uh, they was performing uh, uh, King Von songs. Tell them, tell them who Fredo Bang is real Yeah, a lot of people Bang. don't know. So when, when, when NBA Youngboy was coming up, he had got involved with these rappers. Man, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot what they, GS, it's like GS something. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm GSG or something, something like that. But it was a rapper... Um, hold on, we lost, we lost. All right, we back. So it was a rapper. Uh, his name was G Money, man, and he really, uh, he say he brought Young Boy in, bro. He brought Young Boy in the click. He got Young Boy rapping. He got Young Boy, you know, popping. Young Boy start popping off. Said, man, I'm I'm solo. I ain't really rocking with y'all niggas. Um, I guess that shit started like a little beef in their town. And basically, long story short, man, you know, RPG money, but RPG money, man. Yeah, man. A few years ago, man, G Money w- was a victim of this beef. And and the whole time, G Money, real right hand man, uh Fredo was locked up. So when Fredo come home, he like, bro, the nigga we brought in our own clique. Not only did he blow up, he got my man killed. And that's fucking forever. So that's Fredo Bang. So Fredo Bang, the nigga who came home, that's like, I ain't never going to rock with young boy ever because of the shit he did to my mans who really showed him love from the jump. Now, basically, and so to branch off of that, so basically what he's saying is, yeah, Fredo Bang ain't fucking with young boy. Yeah, King Von got killed by Quando Rondo. That's undersigned under NBA young boy. And you got Dirk that had King Von signed to him as on stage with Fredo Bang. Nothing was said about nothing. Nothing was said they didn't. But he, if you tie it all together, what it come back to? You know what I'm saying? It's coming and then, back. Then what song? What song they play on that motherfucker? Yeah, they was playing that motherfucker crazy story, man. <laughs> they was playing <laughs> that Vaughn, man. So not they only was playing that vibe, they together, man. but they told you why they came together, man, for that brother Vaughn, man. So man, RP Vaughn, man. RPG money, man. RP everybody, man. Because on some real shit, you know we. I ain't gonna say we glorify the shit, but you know, I'm nigga, I'm a fan of the of the culture of the game, nigga, whether it's the streets, whether it's the music. I feel like it come together a lot of times. So some of the shit we talk about like it's a movie, but really it's real life. You know what I'm saying? So real I talk. Say RIP to everybody, mm-hmm. man. I wish niggas really could see the real enemy. But that's that's a whole nother podcast. But I really wish motherfuckers could see the real enemy. Cause we got a lot of gangsters, bro. We got a lot of killers, man. And if motherfuckers was shooting at the right enemy, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot different right now. But you know, 
We ain't we ain't gonna speak on that. But yeah, I, I, you know I could you know I could go into that all day, bro. I ain't gonna <laughs> I even, say, hey, that's another podcast. Hey, that's another you know, podcast. But what you were saying about dirt ain't no talking, ain't no nothing, ain't no woofing. It's you you like, notice that? It's just what you it is. That? I mean, it's 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 what it have to be. That's that's how it really go down. I mean, because let's say so. This what happened. A lot of people don't know this. Quando Rondo, one of his homies, got killed. Like in the last couple days, bro. Let me go get the story, man. This like breaking news, bro. One of and Quando Rondo brother um had uh Quando Rondo brother basically confirmed it. Quando Rondo's right hand man Mari has been shot and killed. His brother confirmed it. So I'm trying to wow. see the full story. Um, I can't. I don't really see no full story on it, but they saying that a nigga named Mari, one of Quando Rondo right hand man, had just got killed recently. So. When you speak on shit like that, let's say Dirk is out here woofing all on social media, motherfuckers doing this, doing that, not Quando Rondo, one of his homies get killed. Now, this clearly was some random different shit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't got nothing to do with that. But okay. now you just gave the people evidence to where maybe I need to start investigating you because you on the internet talking about you want these niggas dead and now they dying. So that's why you can't do that. And any real nigga understand like, bro, I'm not speaking deaf on no nigga because the nigga could die. And you now he's looking at me like I did something and I'm just real on the talk. internet motherfucking talking. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. And they already, look, look, and the thing about it, like you just said, they already investigating you for other shit already anyway. They already watching and looking and listening and trying to tap in on motherfucking shit and doing all this shit anyway. Now some yeah. shit like that happening. You talking beef, you going in on niggas. What's, you feel what I'm saying? Facts. What's going to happen then? Back so 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 I I salute Dirk man I really salute I really salute everybody in this situation post the shooting except Quando Rondo I kind of like how everybody handled it after King Von passed except Quando Rondo I don't like what he did I don't like putting out the song I don't like you know kind of he kind of grabbed his nuts on the whole situation you see what I'm saying it's, yeah. it's, it's, instead of playing it like a tragedy like bro you could have played this shit like a tragedy you could have acted like hey this was my brother some bullshit happened and now everybody's sad but instead he kind of grabbed his nuts a little bit you see what I'm saying I think that was yeah. the wrong play but I feel like everybody else include young boy because NBA ain't said one thing now he have been on stage he have been on stage performing like, I don't know if you saw that, but NBA Youngboy played Quando Rondo song about King Von at his show. Wow. He played it. He he didn't perform it. Quando Rondo wasn't on the stage, but NBA Youngboy played the song. Now, I understand that's your artist. It's a little deeper than that. Niggas from the same city, from the same hood. This some this kind of some worldwide beef that might have got started. So he really got to show support to his little homie. I understand that. But I also feel like, you know, he probably did his best to not say nothing. And really, if Quando don't make that song, he don't have to play the song. But once Quando make the song, he got to play the song or he look like he ain't really got Buddy back either. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all it's, it, it's all entwined together, man. Yeah, it's but... It's all entwined together. But we going to see, man. We going to see. But, hey, man, my nigga Trigger, bro. Hey, that was your first... That's crazy, bro. Our first episode, your first real, like, street music prediction, bro. Hit That's that motherfucker crazy, clean on the head, bro. <laughs> on some music shit, man. Who you rocking with, bro? Who you rocking with right now in the music side? Man, I've been uh rock, rocking with that King Von. I don't know if you you watch battle rap any. Yeah, I watch battle rap a little bit, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sue I fuck, Surf, I fuck I been, with the big names and shit. I've been fucking with Sue, Sue Surf album, bro. Oh, he dropped an album it. like a real album and shit. Uh, um, he got G Herbo on there. He got Mozzie on there. He got Dave East on there. Man, he got motherfucking Jim Jones on that motherfucker. Hey, he got hey that album right there, bro. It reminded me of a uh, I want to say a um, damn, it's different, bro. It's like some Jada Kiss type shit. Hell like yeah, like that East album. Coast. He got that East Coast on there. Yeah, the whole album just smooth, bro. That's all I've been. I mean, him and Vaughn, I've been rocking Vaughn, R.I.P. Vaughn, but I've been fucking with Sue Surf 
whole album, bro, like the top from top to bottom, bro, banging it. I got all my niggas playing that shit, bro. Man, hey, niggas shout shit out, shout out that nigga Sue, sir. What about you, bro? What about man. you? You been fucking... I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been fuck fuck with the little youngster, man. Pooh Shiesty, man. Oh, that's my little nigga. Uh, him and uh, uh what's the other nigga name? Uh, Boy Giano and uh, uh, it's another nigga with a little deep voice, man. Uh, I forget a little tall, skinny nigga. He with uh, he was so icy now. Oh no, um, damn, I forgot his name, man. But you know, I've been fucking with the niggas for a little minute. Bro, that nigga Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. Pooh Pooh Shiesty. Yeah, he just dropped some shit like the last couple like- months. He sound like your boy Gotti, younger Gotti. Though. He do sound like Gotti. Ooh, hey, I think that's why Gucci signed him, G, because you know Gucci and Gotti a little on shaky ground. That's why he I is. feel like Gucci seen this nigga like I'm finna get the next Gotti out of Memphis because he remind me of like a a twenty year old yo Gotti, bro. That's crazy. You bro, the that. other nigga that they signed, bro, that Gucci signed, bro. He had a, he had an interview with the little nigga, bro. I forgot his name. You can go look him up. It's Fujiano. It's uh Pooh Shiesty, and it's another nigga. That he Ola, his what was his name like Ola Runt or something like that? No, it's something else, bro. The nigga had made one song. One song. Gucci heard with that one song. He had no other song. The nigga made one song. Uh, he got a little deep voice, too. He, he cold with it. Gucci signed that man off one song, bro. Damn, I was right here in the guy. Crazy, bro. We we name, but now nah, I've been fucking with Pooh Shiesty, man. I like, I like his music. I like the shit he be saying. Like he said something where he was like, he was like, uh, he break down the bows, fill them half up with shake. This just, it's little shit I be hearing, bro, where I know a nigga know what he talking about. You know what I'm saying? What's your, uh, what's your man from Chicago? Uh, DD, what's his name? Debo, man. Oh, hey, Debo. man. Shout out Debo, man. He just dropped a new song, uh, Gang War. Man, Debo going crazy, bro. Debo, Debo, hey, Debo I ain't gonna lie. I've been listening. I've been listening to that nigga Debo, bro. He been he been going crazy too, though, bro. I ain't man, put hey, me for, Debo, man. for real, for real, bro. Hey, this 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 is my prediction, man. Street certified podcast prediction. Debo gonna be the next nigga to blow up from Chicago, bro. I promise yep. you, man. He I is, promise though, you. bro. He got that shit, bro. He talking, he talking heavy. <laughs> he talking heavy. He hey, he put on though. No. It's a lot of niggas who been waiting to hit that swag. He been he putting on for a lot of niggas who ain't had. You know what I'm saying? They ain't had nobody to root for. So it's man like Debo got it to where the streets rooting. Man had the white button up on. Hey, man had the white button up on with the chain on and a behind the trap house. Like I said, okay. I said, oh, that's, that's that, that big Debo. folks. And that's that okay. big okay. folks. Yeah, that was that big folks. Oh, hey. man, that's my brother, man. <laughs> Man, did you see my uh, did, you, did you see what my girl got me for Christmas, bro? She got me an early Christmas. I don't even want to see it again, man. <laughs> I don't even want to see it again, man. I don't even want to see it again, man. See, I was a uh, nigga, I was watching the movies. Y'all was watching Pluto TV on my wrist, nigga. Like it's called it's called uh T uh T Rick wrist. Man. It's a tick wrist, bro. The tick, tick wrist, wrist max. Yeah, I seen him on there, man. I was like, okay. The tick it's wrist, max, man. They got the max pro too, man. If you if you if you Feeling froggy, man. Oh, I'm a leap, then. Fuck it. I got a leap, man. Man shout, man. shout out my baby, man. She lays me, man. You know, that's the type of shit I like. I like little shit like that. You know what I mean? So to see now, and like I was telling her, like now when I'm in the car, right? Now when I'm in the car, right? What I could do is normally I play the music off my phone, but now I can't really be on my phone because I'm playing the music off my phone. Now I can mm. play the music off my watch, nigga. I got YouTube, Audio Mac, everything on my watch. So I could Bluetooth my watch to the car, play the music, all that shit off my watch. Nigga, my phone is cooling. It's like a That's lot of smart. shit. Maps, nigga. That's GPS. Smart. Nigga, I got the GPS on my on my wrist now. So I just, I like that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So That's smart, bro. Hey, hey, shout out to my boy. You know, uh, my boy Creep and Son turn three today, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, they having a the birthday man. party, What's, what's man. his name, bro? What's Creep's son name? Oh, that's my boy Marley, man. Man, shout, bro. Shout out to Marley, man. Yeah, man. man. I'm about to, uh, we're about to slide out there in a minute. That's why I'm supposed to be out there at, at, at about at four, but you know I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. I had to rock with my oh, boy. He, having, man, a, he having like a real birthday, like a kid's birthday party and shit. Yeah, yeah, little shorty's gonna be. I gotta go pick up my daughter and shit. I take over there and shit. Let her play around, run around, around for a little man. Family man ass nigga. You know what? what? Saying, nigga nigga love his family. family. Look at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't get it twisted. That's all I'm gonna say, baby. We, <laughs> hey, we might be a little older than what we was, but don't get it twisted. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to my boy Rex, man. Love you, bro, man. You hear me? Hey, man, I love you too, man. Hey, episode 24, man, Street Certified Podcast. You watch a Street Certified News, man. It's your boy, M. Rex El Guapo, man. We out. Hey, shout out. All right, boss.
Look.